Okay, this is Nick, and this is my podcast on the book, Tuesdays with Maury. Alright, the book's basically about this guy named Mitch, who visits his old college professor every Tuesday, and he has ALS, and he's dying. Um, Alright, the main idea and overall point of the book was to make you think about life as the bigger picture. Maury's lectures and lessons make you look at everything you have in your life and how you live. He makes you realize that we take things for granted every day and we don't appreciate the things that we should. Maury has always had a unique outlook on life, but his disease makes him even more observant and considerate. The relationship between Mitch and Maury makes the point of the story even bolder because you know they are extremely close and Mitch takes every word Maury says to heart. It's been this way since he was a freshman in college. When most people find out they're sick or dying, they usually feel bad for themselves or just focus on the fact that they're dying. Maury took his diagnosis differently and used it as a teaching method and lesson. He wanted people to learn from his disease and understood that just because you're dying, your life isn't over yet. He wanted people to understand that such an opportunity should be used to appreciate what you have in life and not focus on pointless things in life. He continuously says that people walk through life basically half asleep because they haven't found what they're looking for yet. We focus on pointless things like fame and money and he tries to explain that that's not what life's about and that life's about finding the values that you need and appreciate things and to appreciate things. Um, Maury's most famous quote in the book is, "Once you learn how to die, you learn how to live," because he knows how to live his life and treat people in his life now that he's dying. This book really made me realize a lot about life and how I should appreciate it more instead of focusing on the little things that don't really matter. <laughs> Um, some important quotes would be one on page three, that is, for many of us, the curtain has just come down on childhood, and that's pretty relatable, considering that we're graduating soon, so basically our childhood is ending. Um, another quote would be on page 83, we don't experience the world fully because we're half asleep doing things we automatically think we have to do. Um, we do things in our everyday lives because we're either expected to or think we're expected to do them. We don't really think otherwise. There are other things in life that we don't even do or think about doing because it's not automatically assumed what we're doing. And, um... That's three minutes, so I'm done.